Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 7 whole to the power 4 equal to 81. We need to find all possible values of x. So let's start by moving this 81 to the left side. x plus 7 whole to the power 4. This positive 81 becomes negative 81 at left side is equal to 0. Now this x plus 7 whole to the power 4 can be written as x plus 7 whole squared and whole to the power 2 minus this 81 can be written as 9 squared is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. This expression will become x plus 7 whole squared plus 9 times x plus 7 whole squared minus 9 is equal to 0. Now, by using this algebraic identity, a plus b whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2 times ab plus b squared. This x plus 7 whole squared will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 49 plus this 9 times and this x plus 7 whole squared will become x squared plus 14 times x plus 49 minus this 9 is equal to 0. Next, x squared plus 14 times x plus 49 plus 9, 58 times this x squared, x squared plus 14 times x and 49 minus 9 plus 40 is equal to 0. Now from here either this expression x squared plus 14 times x plus 58 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 14 times x plus 40 is equal to 0. Now we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 14 and c is equal to 58. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b 14 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write 14 squared minus 4 times value of a1 times value of c 58 divided by 2 times value of a1. Next x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus square root of this 14 squared is equal to 196 minus 4 times 1 times 58 is equal to 232 divided by 2 times 1, 2 and x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus square root of 196 minus 232 is equal to negative 36. 
divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus square root of we can write this uh, negative 36 as 36 times negative 1 divided by 2 next x is equal to negative 14 plus or minus this uh, square root of uh, 36 is 6 and this uh, square root of negative 1 square root of negative 1 is equal to i so we replace this uh, square root of negative 1 with i divided by 2 next x is equal to from here we can factor out 2 2 as a common factor and in bracket left negative 7 plus or minus 3 times i divided by 2 now this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get uh, two values of x x1 is equal to negative 7 plus 3 times i and x2 is equal to negative 7 minus 3 times i so these are the two values of x now to find the other two values of x we solve this quadratic equation this is factorable so we solve it by factorization x squared we split this plus 14x as split this plus 14x as plus 10x plus 4x plus this 40 is equal to 0 now from these two terms uh, we can factor out x x as a common factor and in bracket left x plus 10 plus from these two terms uh, we can factor out 4 and in bracket left uh, x plus 10 is equal to 0 now this expression x plus 10 this expression x plus 10 is a common factor so we factor out this uh, x plus 10 and in bracket left this x and this plus 4 in bracket left x plus 4 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression x plus 10 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 4 is equal to 0 and from here x is equal to negative 10 and from here x is equal to negative 4 this is the value of x3 and this is the value of x4 now we write these two values of x with these two solutions value of x3 is equal to negative 10 and value of x4 is equal to negative 4 so these are the four solutions of this equation now let's verify these values of x the original equation is x plus 7 whole to the power 4 is equal to 81 first in this equation we put the value of x negative 7 plus 3i then this equation becomes value of x negative 7 plus 3 times i plus this 7 whole to the power 4 is equal to 81 now this negative 7 will be cancelled out with this positive 7 and here we are left with 3 times i whole to the power 4 equal to 81 now this power 4 will become the power of this 3 and this i 3 to the power 4 times i to the power 4 is equal to 81 and 3 to the power 4 is 81 times this i to the power 4 can be written as i squared whole squared is equal to 81 
next 81 times this i squared i squared is equal to negative 1 so we replace this i squared with negative 1 whole squared is equal to 81 next 81 times negative 1 squared is positive 1 is equal to 81 and 81 times 1 81 is equal to 81 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this value of x1 negative 7 plus 3 times i is a valid solution now in this equation we put this value of x2 negative 7 minus 3i then this equation will become value of x is negative 7 minus 3i plus this 7 and whole to the power 4 is equal to 81 and this negative 7 will be cancelled out with this positive 7 and here we are left with the negative 3 times i whole to the power 4 is equal to 81 now this power 4 will become the power of this negative 3 and this i negative 3 to the power 4 times i to the power 4 is equal to 81 and negative 3 to the power 4 is positive 81 times this i to the power 4 can be written as i squared whole squared is equal to 81 next 81 times this i squared is equal to negative 1 so here we write negative 1 squared is equal to 81 next 81 times negative 1 squared is 1 is equal to 81 and 81 times 1 81 is equal to 81 you can see that left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this value of x2 negative 7 minus 3i is a valid solution and in the same way if we verify this value of x3 this is also a valid solution and this value of x4 negative 4 is also a valid solution so these are the four solutions of this equation